Okay, everyone. Welcome back to class. I hope everyone had an amazing break, a, a good holiday. Today, we're just really going to be reviewing what we learned um, in the previous classes, um, just to refresh everything because it's been a very long time, okay? We were learning Unit 5, Lesson 3, how can organisms succeed in their environments? Who can tell me what these animals are doing in their environment right now? What are these animals doing? How are they succeeding? Does anyone remember? So when you succeed in your environment, you have what? You have to do what? Kuang Ming? <laughs> succeed means to reach your goal. Yes, thank you. Good job, Kuang Ming. Good job. To reach your goal, to reach your goal. What are some goals that these animals have? What are some goals that these animals have? Who can remind you? What are some of the goals the meerkat or the spider have? Okay, what are some goals? What do these animals want to do? Okay, I'm gonna help you guys out. So remember, the animal needs to survive. The an oh, we're, we're typing in white. That's not good. The animal needs to survive. What do animals need to survive? What do they need to do? What do they want to do to succeed? They need to survive. Steve, what's something they need? Reproduce. Yes, to re reproduce. Perfect, to reproduce or find a mate. Find a mate. Yeah, to reproduce or find a mate. Why is the spider dancing, Steve? Why is the spider dancing? It's um, to find a mate. Yeah, to find a mate. The, remember, the male spider is dancing to find a mate. What else do animals need to survive? What else do animals need to survive? What is another way they can reach their goal? What's it? Kui Hong? Kui Hong? They need food. Yeah, food. They need to find or hunt food. Okay? They need to find or hunt food. Anything else animals need? How about... Sydney, Sydney, what else do animals need? I think it's water. Yeah, water. Very good job, Sydney. They also need water. They need to survive, reproduce, find and hunt food, water. Maybe, I'll give you guys a few more. Maybe staying safe. The animals need to stay safe. Okay. Sometimes they can work in groups. Remember, we learned about them working in groups to succeed. Maybe they have really good camouflage or some way to protect themselves. There's all these different things that help them succeed in their environment. Maybe it's really cold. Maybe it's really cold. If their environment is really, really cold, what might they need to survive? Blubber and fur. Good job, guys. Yep, so we're just going to be reviewing this today. Let's go through our PowerPoint. So welcome back to online learning. First, before we start, let's just read our rules one more time. Just to remember, it's going to be really quick. Let's just have you guys read them. Kiwi, read rule number one for everyone. Kiwi, rule number one, everyone. Your camera must always be on, and your name must be what it is in class so we can call on you. Very good. Guys, just make sure your cameras are on. Very good job, Kiwi. Um, let's have Hannah read rule number two. Hannah. Do your homework before class and follow directions about how to turn it in. Good job. And then number three, Hacker, what's, can you read number three? You can uh, milk at any time and set question if you need. Very good. And remember, if you guys have a question, you can just unmute and say question and make sure it's a question um, about what we are learning. Um, it might just waste time of the class though. So make sure you only use it once per class. You only have one question per class, okay? If you wanna share something fun, you can raise your hand in Zoom. Raise your hand in Zoom. Number two, who would like to read number two? Jenny, can you read number two? I will call on people to answer questions or read at random, so pay attention. Thank you. And number three, number three. So everyone, everyone to unmute, and we're going to say it together. Uh, 
Yes, try your best. I want everyone to make sure they tried their best. If I call on you, just give me the best answer you can. Just give me the best answer you can. So, I hope everyone had a great, happy Lunar New Year. Anyone want to share what they did for their Lunar New Year with the class? Sydney, what did, you, what did you do? I want to hear what you did. A Lunar New Year, I go to my grandpa and my grandma house and I go to uh, Manny, uh, Manny's house. I have more money. And it, uh, it was uh, in all of mine is up of $100. Okay, so do, wait, did you travel? So you left Hanoi to go visit your grandparents? Or do they live in Hanoi? I go to my grandpa and grandma at Hung Yen. Okay, very cool. Did anyone else travel or do anything fun? How about Leo? You rose your hand. I also go to my grandpa and grandma house, and I also play Among Us. You played Among Us? Oh, awesome. Do you play any other video games or just Among Us? I play Candy Crush, too. Okay. Candy Crush. I, I used to play so much Candy Crush. That sounds like a great break. Yeah. Min Hong? I am F4. You were F4? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. What else did you do? Did you watch any movies or read a new book or play any new video games? Yeah, play Zuba. You played the, you played what? Zuba. The Zuba? Okay, I don't know what Zuba is. <laughs> okay, hacker, what did you do? I go to Yenba and I go to my grandma and grandpa house. How about Emma? What did you do? What did you do? I play with my baby and, and play games. Oh, that's awesome. So you, so you played with, how old's the baby? Oh, <laughs> do you have an example? Okay. That's awesome. That sounds fun. Zoling, sorry. Uh, I watch a movie mm -hmm. um, back 18 when it's um, Luna. Yeah. Okay, what movie was it? Okay. I, I watched some movies too. I watched some movies too. We had a lot of free time. Okay. But very thank you guys for sharing what you guys did over your lunar new year. Okay, so let's do a little bit of book review. Book review. So I'm gonna share your book real quick. So this is what we've learned last class. We have how do animals or how can organisms succeed in their environments? How can animals succeed? in their environments. So we're gonna actually use the interactive one today. So this is your interactive book. So we're gonna be using your interactive book today. So we have two different animals here. We have two different animals here. What does, do you guys remember, what are these animals called? What are these two animals called? Everyone can unmute and tell me what are they called? What are these animals called? Yeah. Yep, good job everyone. It is a jag. Yes, yeah, so we have two different jaguars here and they're going to serve they're going They have different traits. Remember the word traits. They have different traits that will help them succeed in their environment Jaguars can be tan either black or tan Blo both black and tan jaguars have Spots. So they both have spots, but remember the black one is kind of hard to see. The spots on the black one is hard to see. What I'd like you guys to do is match. So these are different traits the black one or the tan one have. We have smaller body, dark color, patchy color, or a heavier jaw. We have, and then we're going to match it to what it will help them do. So Using the information above, match the traits to the way it helps the animals. So let's match them. Let's draw some lines to match this. When I say go, I would like everyone, I would like everyone to match the traits to what it helps the animal do. Remember, your lines, you should draw one line and make sure it's nice and neat. Nice and neat. Okay, ready, set, go. Let's match the traits. Let's match the traits. Good job, Leo. 
Steve, Mickey, Hacker. Yes. Make sure you don't scribble. So I'm going to draw lines. I'm going to draw lines to what I think you guys match. So you guys drew a line from here. Let me just clear your drawings. So these are the drawings. Can you see this now? So these are the lines you guys drew. I just made them a little bit more clear. Okay. So let's see if you guys got it right. So we had smaller body and climbing trees. Very good. Remember, if you're really big, if you're really big and fat or really heavy, you won't be able to climb trees. So a smaller body helps you climb trees. Great job, everyone. We have dark color. Oh, and hiding in tree shadows. That's very good. If you're darker in color, you'd be hiding in tree shadows. And which one is darker in color, the black one or the tan one? Which jaguar is dark and small? Mean, huh? Black. Yeah, the black jaguar. The black jaguar. Very good. And then we have patchy color, hiding in grass, which you guys got correct, and heavier jaw. Okay, you guys got them all correct. Congratulations, you guys got them all. So, yeah, so when it says patchy color, when it says patchy color, it just means groups of color. Groups of color. Okay, and that's why jaguars have spots. Jaguars have spots to break up their color, to break up their color. It makes them blend into the grass better. Okay, let's check our answers. And we got them all done. Well done, everyone. Well done. Smaller bodies with darker colors make it easier for black jaguars to climb in trees and hide in shadows. A patchy color allows tan jaguars to hunt in the grassland easier, and a heavier jaw allows a jaguar to catch larger prey. We're going to do exploration two. Exploration two. Better together. Okay, let's watch the video real quick. Coral may look like tall grasses blowing in the wind, but they are actually animals that live together in colonies or groups. Their hard skeletons are what form coral reefs. Okay, so we're looking at corals here, corals, and can I have everyone, I would like everyone to answer, is coral a, is coral plants or animals? Is coral plants or animals? Animals. Very good. Coral is our animals. Coral are animals. And they work together in groups. They live in groups okay it's actually and coral can also be a certain type of plankton called zooplankton okay they live inside the coral they live inside the animal which is coral okay so let, we're gonna read about pods packs and protection so let's who would like to read zebra running mics eat hot for other animals to single out a long zebra when a cat starts to run. This makes the zebra harder to catch. Yeah, so they're running together for protection. It makes it harder for them to catch. Very good, Ocean. So, how about a hyena? How about hyenas? Let's hear from... How about Kwong Hai? Kwong Hai? Hyenas work in packs to hunt for food. They can take down larger animals by working together. Yeah, what animal do you think they would take? try to take down? What, what's one animal they would try to take down? A uh, horse. Uh, maybe can horse, zebra, and tigers, and meerkat. <laughs> Okay, you're saying a lot of animals here. Yeah, I would give you zebra. They might hunt a zebra. Those other animals, those other animals might not live in the same area. Maybe a meerkat, maybe a meerkat, but not a horse, not a horse. Tai Chi? Hyenas um, will eat larger animals than them. Yeah, why can they hunt larger animals? Why can they hunt larger animals? Because they do in groups. Yeah, they work in groups. Very good. They work in packs to hunt for food. What's another animal that hunts in a pack? What's another animal that hunts in a teddy? What's another animal that might hunt in a pack? Uh, another animal might hunt in a pack. 
It's wolf. Very good. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's have Susie. Susie, can you read this for us? Thank you. So what is the main reason these sperm whales are working together? For what? Why do the sperm whales work together? Let's have Hacker. Why do the sperm whales work together? Hacker. For what? To rest their young. Yeah. And why do they work together? So they work together to raise their young because it's what? Because it's with better protect more young. Which hey, can you say protection? Protection. Yeah, protection. More young, rich. Out yeah, adulthood. And hacker, if those animals, if the sperm whales reach adulthood, what will they do? They will have what? Work together, work together to rest the young. Yeah, but they would reproduce, right? They would make more young. If you make it to adulthood, you would reproduce. Thank you, hacker. Okay, let's read about the penguins. Let's have Min Hong. Captain with the half count of lantern. Male penguins huddle together. This behave their experiment helps them survive the very cold winter storm. Great reading. Yep, they have to keep the eggs warm. It's a very cold. They live in Antarctica. Okay. So we now have ants. Who would like to read about ants? Tai Chi? Tai Chi? Ants have different jobs, such as weaving nets, hunting food, hunting for food, and laying eggs. They meet their needs better in a group than they could by themselves. Very good. And ocean. Do you think an ant could live by itself? Do you think one ant would be able to survive on itself, by itself? No. No. Okay. So, yeah, ants would not be able to survive on their own. I would like it. Let's watch. Before we go over your homework, I have a few videos we can watch. We're going to watch a few groups working together. We're going to watch a few groups working together. This is kind of like your homework assignment. So make sure, I hope everyone can hear it. We're going to start playing it. Let me, here you guys go. Okay, so these are wild dogs. And they just said, they just said that it's a relay, which means when someone gets tired, they go to the back. And someone that is not tired, a dog that is not tired will move to the front. That's what they mean by relay. Kwang Hai? They want to escape from the dog and they have a um, plan and that is they will go to the... A zebras, the to the zebras, and they will run, and they make make the dog confused a little bit, and, and the dog see the alphabet, and the dog chase it. Yeah. The alphabet cannot still cannot um go away from the wild dog from the first class. They're running away from the dogs, and they're trying to get to their herd. They're trying to get to their herd. So once, once they get your back legs like that, once they get the wildebeest's back legs, it's basically game over. Uh, they're going to have the wildebeest then. So they always, most animals when they're chasing or hunting will always go for the back legs. Okay, we're going to watch another video and compare them. So that was our wild dogs. Now let's watch a cheetah. We're going to watch a cheetah. Okay. Make sure you guys are paying attention. We're going to compare these videos. Okay. 
What are some differences between the dogs and the cheetah? Hannah? The dogs work in group to hunt food, but the cheetahs hunt alone. Very good. What are some differences in the prey? They were both hunting wildebeest. Both animals were hunting wildebeest, but what was the difference, Min Hong? The, the dog hunt in group and the cheetah hunt by themselves. Yeah, and what was, oh, what was the difference in the prey, in the wildebeest? What was the difference? They were both wildebeest, but what was different about the wildebeest? So let's look at the wildebeest real quick. I'll show you the video. So this is the cheetah. This is the cheetah hunting the wildebeest right here. Look at the prey, look at the wildebeest. And then this is the dogs, this is the dogs. What is the difference in the wildebeest? What's the difference between these wildebeest? Can you tell me the difference? The difference is the cheetah eats smaller animals and the wild dogs eat big animals and groups. Yeah, do you think the cheetah could catch the big wildebeest? Do you think the cheetah could catch or catch up to the big wildebeest? Do you think it's fast enough to catch it? Yes. Yes. But do you think it could actually kill it? Do you think it could take it down? No. Yes. No. No. Yeah, so the guys, the cheetah is fast enough to catch the big wildebeest, but it's too big. It's too big. The cheetah because it does not work in a group, has to go after a young, not a adult wildebeest. That's the difference in the prey. That is the difference in the prey. And remember, the dogs, because they work in the group, they're going to have to share the what? Because they work in a group, they're going to have to share what? They will have to share with each other the meat of the wildebeest. Exactly. And if you have to share the meat, you have to go hunt larger animals. So there's more meat for everyone. If you're going to have to share it, you have to uh, hunt bigger animals. The cheetah, he's hunting something much, much smaller, but he can eat the entire thing himself. He will be able to eat the entire, or she will be able to eat the entire thing herself. So let's go over your homework really quick. I really just wanted to go over everyone that submitted their homework. So let me share your homework. Um, share. So these are some homework submissions I got. These are all the homework submissions I got. So we have penguins. Let's leave read who this is. Sydney, I love your penguins standing together. These penguins get in a group um, to every program um, can stay warm so they can stay warm. Okay, very good. I'm just going to go through them very quickly, though. We had Emma. Oh, this is Zeling. Once again, we got some more fish. Great job. Oh, Hannah showing us ants. Once again, ants are one of my favorites. So we have Anna, Hannah with some ants. Kiwi, amazing lions. Ooh, Mickey. I really like your ant hill. I really like how all the ants are digging in the hill. And they're carrying leaves back. They're carrying leaves back. Good job, Mickey. Min Huang. We got some hunting going on, it looks like here. It looks like that animal's pooping, though. Okay, let's move on. We have Kuang Hai. Once again, we got some reef. We have some fish. Very good. Ooh, this is a beautiful zebra. This is a beautiful zebra working in a group. We have some dolphins. Okay. Moonfish. Oh, yeah, this is Teddy's. This is the one I was mentioning early, Teddy's. We have a bunch of animals here. Oh, we got wolves. We got some, a lot of wolves. We got a female, male, male, and it looks like we got some cubs as well. We got some cubs or some puppies. Yeah. And then we got Teddy's writing. This is Teddy. This is what Teddy wrote. Very good job, guys, on your homework. Please make sure you guys submit your homework. Okay, let's go over your homework really quick. But tonight's homework is the lesson check and the lesson roundup. But on page 317, I'll show you real quick. On p page 317, you do not you start at number two. You start at number two. I'll show you real quick. You do not have to do the writing. 
if you guys see the writing right here, you guys do not have to do the writing, okay? You do not have to do number one. Start at number two, and then you guys are gonna do the next two pages, the next two pages, okay? So you wanna finish the lesson check, and then finish the lesson roundup. This will be your homework, okay? So today was review. You wanna finish both. You wanna finish both, okay? Does anyone have any questions before we end classes? Anyone have any questions? What's your question, Teddy? We do it on our book at home, or we do it on the link. Guys, if you have your book, you can do it in your book, and then you need to take a picture. Take a picture. If you don't have your book, if you don't have your book, you're going to have to write down your answers and take a picture of your answers, okay? If there's no more questions, I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a great day, guys.